All right. So we're going to continue doing a continuance of what we left off. And I was going to go ahead, Josh. Let's be quiet in this moment, okay? Um, I have three principles to give you on um, what are the benefits of an active memory, okay? Um, the first one I was going over before we ended was keeps you strong because God told Joshua and the children of Israel as they were getting ready to go in to take the land. Um to be strong and courageous. That, that means that God sits from eternity and looks into time and he sees already a place of victory because he's already fought for you to get to a specific place. But now comes the action, right? Um, faith is an action word. You know, um, faith without works is what? Dead, being alone. Um, but even as the seed has been sown for our own individual paths in life, we have to do the hard work. And that means move forward after the seed has been planted. Um, the next thing is an active memory keeps you vi vigilant. Um, the Bible says, uh, be vigilant for the devil, our adversary, seeketh whom he may devour. Um, the Bible told the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that um, uh, Cain went to go salute his brother Abel um, as they were in a field working. And G God himself was telling Cain that um, is your sacrifice not good? If you bring me a good enough sacrifice, is your sacrifice better than your brother's? Bring me what is worthy and I'll accept it from you. You're no different. And. God was literally telling Cain that the enemy is crouching at the door. He is ready and waiting to take you over because you're full of your emotions. You're full of pride. Maybe you're full of jealousy. Maybe you're full of displaced arrogance. Maybe you're full of you being entitled in a season of your life where there is hard work or there's pressure that is put on you. Maybe you have these feelings, but the enemy operates in feelings because the enemy does not operate in faith. His foundation is feelings. That's why it's important for us to identify our feelings but it's not important for us to stay in that state of mind because the bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for what the ev the evidence of things not seen faith coming by hearing you hearing me talk and hearing by the word of the lord without faith it's impossible to please god so in this walk in this journey walking this road with Jesus. We don't do it alone. We don't do life alone. That's why we have people that are around us um, praying for us. That's why we have um, family. That's why we have friends. That's why we have our church family praying for us and um, upholding our hands, even in seasons where it is tough for us. But we know that that's not our end. That's just the beginning, right? So for me, I'm choosing to let the season of see the many seasons of my life that have included isolation. I'm making a decision to to let it push me to embrace an active memory for what I know that God has already done for me. And the last thing is an active memory. Which matter? An active memory keeps you encouraged and active memory keeps you encouraged and i put on the bottom that god is coming for you there's never a season um that you can go down a road that god is like okay well i haven't already been there i haven't already walked it out for you the bible says that he's the author and finisher of our faith what does that mean sister chantrell that means that i'm in a position in a place in my life where i don't know how it's going to end, but I know there's going to be prosperous. Um, there's going to be prospering. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm thrown off by my boys in the background. There's going to be room for me to prosper. That's going to be my end. Peace is going to be the end of, of the, of, of my life. I know that the things you can get her bottle for me, please. Eh? I know that, um, no, I put the oh top, but okay. All right, you done? 
No, go sit down. I'm gonna get y'all some, okay? But the blessing about it is, Mama Bear, the blessing about it is, woman of God, that God has already gone before us. And the God who goes before us, he knows our end. He knows our end from the beginning, right? Um, lo, uh, I may, I will be with you even until the end of the world. Let me tell you, we are serving a God who knows about our story, who knows about our situation, who knows, Josh, please don't do that, who knows about our circumstances. He's not throwing us to the wolves. We are not some redheaded stepchild that God forgot about. And he put him, He put us on a doorstep and was like, okay, well, here you go. No, because my Bible tells me that all things work together for the good of them who trust, who believe in the uh, Lord, who believe in his promises and his plan. Um, the Bible tells me that he is a shield and buckler for them that trust in him. All he wants you to, you to do is put your seeds of faith up and say, God, I'm going to trust you. God, I can't trust you. I can't find you. I can't hear your voice. So I'm going to do what you told me the last time. That's to trust in you. So I pray that this podcast has been a blessing to the hearers and doers of God's holy word. Thank you so much, Mommy Seekers, for joining me on this journey of what is an act of memory. And my, um, my moments of isolation has taught me to embrace having an active memory to remember the goodness of Jesus because my Bible tells me that we'll see it here in the land of the living. God bless you. Stay encouraged and stay blessed. Bye.